Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to day six. Um, I'm sitting here with Bren today. I'm so excited for you joining me today. And today we are on the 12 days of genuine connection sparked by the holidays. On day six, we are on looking a little bit at intention. A lot of times we get in our head and forget about what, why do we, what do we want to do this holidays? What is my intent behind this specific holiday? Like, what are some of the things I want to do? So we wanted to just focus on that. And maybe you haven't even thought about it. So now it's time to set a few intentions moving forward into this holiday season. So I came, um, Ren is the queen of intentions and setting them. And so I thought she'd be the perfect person to tell us what are some of the, how do we set some of these intentions for holidays and what are some of yours? Gotcha. Well, the first thing that came to mind, which kind of prompted our conversation is our word choice. And I cursed and said the word hopefully when I was talking about something that I wanted. (laughs) And so, yes, why don't we use the word hopefully, Michelle? (laughs) Well, because we're just hoping it away. It's not going to come into existence. So we want to say, I'm going to do this or I'm working towards this and actually making those actions to get it instead of saying, oh, well, I hope it comes along. Exactly. So it's like that whole intention setting. It's like when you put that power behind it, that's what gives you the result. So the saying the hoping something really gives you permission to not do it or to just let it go to chance of whatever happens. And so that's the opposite of being intentional with our words and what we want to create. Exactly. So what are your intentions and hopes for not hopes, but intentions for the holidays? Taught myself. There you go. My intentions, well, is to have some fun family time. And I was already like gearing up to, oh, you know what? I won't work during some time. So that was like nice to give myself mental permission off. Uh, so yeah, that that actually sounds very exciting to me. Um, so intentionally not working. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's that's yeah that's something that I'm looking forward to for the holidays hmm. and you know it's funny on that note I was ironically talking to my therapist about it, saying like I know realistically like I will want to do something like it whether it's like you know but like putting a time limit on it and saying I'm only going to spend 30 minutes today and then the rest time I don't have to think about it. so it's just and it maybe even putting down those um Throughout the day, if you have those thoughts, like the monkey brain keeps going, like writing those down, but then not doing them until that, for me, at least that time period that I'm going to just, that way it can be present during the rest of it. But sometimes we do have to get those thoughts out of our heads and just writing them down is my thinking. Well, I like just even having this conversation. I'm like, wow, Michelle is so balanced. Like she can <laughs> have these ideas and then have the certain time. Cause I go into the, if, if I'm off mode. Like, I don't look at anything. (laughs) I don't want to touch anything. I don't want to do anything. Like, and I'm like, oh, well, looking at intentions, I could intend to be different around that. (laughs) So it really is what, as you know, instead of going to your default, it's like, hey, what, what do you want to look differently at? And that's where the intention comes in that you really are in the driver's seat uh, and acknowledging that and taking ownership of that driver's seat is really nice. And I love that you said like, so the way you don't, but if that's the way that when you have that thought though, like I decide that I don't want to look at anything, but it's that you actually have that thought process. And then you gave yourself permission because you are in the driver's seat. Well, then that's what I'm going to do. And so for me, like looking at like, I want to think ahead and like, okay, well, I don't want to squirrel myself in the way because I can have time, but then I'd rather spend time with the family, which I feel like I'm trying to create more, trying to create more of that balance, which actually happened over the Thanksgiving holidays where I was all of a sudden like, well, they are with grandma. Like I could just sit there and work this whole time. Like they're not, they're, they don't bother. They're not going to come and bother me or something. They got grandma to play with. But then at the same time, I was like, this is my time to spend with them. Like, I'm not going to have this and so then my attention, as I thought about it, became a little bit different. And I like went and like Liam was in the basement, like, let's play a game of checkers or whatever game you want to play. But he ended up picking checkers. And like we had a good time um, playing that until I won and he got mad. But <laughs> we did play. 
<laughs> yes. Well, I like that, you know, and it's like that whole idea that we're in the driver's seat and we don't have to just be, you know, this little flimsy leaf that gets blown around everywhere. Um, you know, and especially, I mean, I can almost guarantee our kids are always very opinionated and they you know what they want when they want it. <laughs> Now we can put some intention behind that. Yes. So and how, like, and very how we intentional. <laughs> well, I want to thank you, Ren, for joining me today. And I want to invite the rest of you to join me for the entire 12 days of Christmas. You can go watch replays on YouTube or Instagram or come join us um, for the ones coming up in the next few days. But I really want to invite you ladies to come to a live women's circle. In this circle, we will work on community and having that connection and taking that that time to ourselves away from the commotion of the holidays and having that chance to think and maybe set those intentions if you haven't had that mind space to do it. So the two times are listed up here. I invite you to pick whichever one works in your schedule and come join us live and have some conversations and connection with us. And I look forward to seeing you then. And I just want to say thank you, Ren, for joining me today. Yes. Oh, I love Michelle's women's circles. So highly recommend. I have my candle here from last time and you just create such a wonderful, safe sharing space. Um, I just look forward to all your circles. So yeah. Oh, thank you, Ren. I look forward to you joining us as well. And so happy holidays and we look forward to seeing you shortly. Bye everyone. <laughs>